Well, will you be taking the uh, pledge, Moses? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm frustrated altogether with everything. I, you know what, I'm, I'm becoming very apathetic when it comes to the hockey labor disputes. Speaking yeah. of which, they got tons of that going on. Mm -hmm. But you know what, if you want to watch good hockey, there's some local stuff yeah, happening here. Yeah, of course. Here, particularly the Rohan Rage. They finally won back-to-back -back games, uh, just three games left before the Christmas break. They're hoping to stretch the win streak in the second half of the season. After 14 games, the minor midgets finally have an unbeaten streak going. We're starting to come together and become a team. Uh, our team's starting to gel and we're starting to move the puck. A large part of the club's recent success has been their sudden scoring exploits, putting 16 goals in four games without a loss. We're all just moving the puck and lots of shots on net and driving the net. The scoring is welcome news to Jared Coghill and the rest of the Rage defense who have carried the team until this point. Well, our goalies have been real, really well. And, uh, the defensemen, we have a good D zone this year. Our coach has been uh, harping on that a lot. They start to find their touch and it's just easier with a good goals for and against uh, ratio, I guess. The Rage are no longer the lowest scoring team in the AMMHL, but are still far and away the best defensive team in the league. With one game against the top team in the North and two of the worst, the Rage are feeling good about finishing 2012 with a bang. We'll play our game as good as we can and hope for the best. It'll be three big wins. The Rage are on the road Saturday against first place SSAC before returning to face MLAC Sunday. Emmett Murphy, Newcap Sports. Well, thanks a lot, Em. In the meantime, the Lloydminster Bandits have some of the struggles of their own as of late. Winless in the month of December, and they're recently embarrassed at home by the Killam Wheat Kings 10-4 last Saturday. The Bandits look to snap their four-game losing skid tonight against the St. Paul Canadians. Captain Chris Romanchuk has been quiet on the stat sheet, collecting two points in the last four games. After a 16-game losing streak, the Canadians stunned the Wainwright Bisons in overtime. Puck drop for this one is at 7.30 Civic Centre. Well, the Bobcats' five-game road trip started on a good note. Since then, they lost three in a row. Now the Orange and Black look to come out with a win in Grand Prairie to end the road swing. This will be the sixth and final meeting between the two squads. The Storm ranked 20th in the CGHL rankings. However, the Cats have had success against GP, picking up five out of a possible ten points, including taking two out of the last three. Puck drop for this one is set for 7.30. And tonight, the Lloydminster Border Kings head on the road to Loose Land to face the Mallards. Puck drop, 7.30, local time. Last night, some high school basketball hoops for you. The Lloyd Comp Barons and the Holy Rosary Raiders renewed their rivalry. The Comps, Duke Young, led the way with 19 points and 10 assists, while Jaden Frank was a beast, scoring 17 points and adding a, uh, 17 uh, rebounds as well for the Barron 66-59 victory over the Raiders. That's your first look at sports. Gerard has your weather details coming up.